What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, bringing you episode 14 of Bacchano. Alright, so after this episode, there's only going to be two more episodes left of Bacchano, and then we're pretty much done. So episodes 14, 15, and 16, they're not necessarily filler episodes, they're just extra episodes that basically branch off on, uh, you know, giving something extra to the main storyline, fleshing out some more characters, um, also fleshing out the current ones, and also giving an overall conclusion, just kind of like how do da 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 did um with its extra episodes so uh yeah going into totally blind on this as well no idea what to expect so let's get into episode 14 of bacchano all right here we go hearing heartbeat boom, 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 boom. this is intense is that dominoes is that miria yeah it is so it's miria and isaac and there's Firo. <laughs> So this must be directly after, yeah, directly after episode 13, since they all know each other. So this must be after the party and whatnot, or a day day later. Uh. Very simple, very simple game. <laughs> Good point. It is. It's something they can do if they don't know the rules for dominoes. Oh, now I get it. So you're telling me that you're telling me that nobody besides everybody else has played dominoes, but not Firo. Look at that butt! And this is and this seems different. Like probably it's due to the fact that she's no longer controlled by Slizzard and therefore, you know, doesn't act like a robot, really. It looks like she has a personality now. So technically Firo technically owns part of Ennis now. What kind of symbol did they make? Why do you have to repeat everything he says? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sound like your little mouse. <laughs> and the mice is just like, you guys all. Everybody's prepared. This is very intense. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but the CGI on the dominoes actually look pretty good. Some CGI doesn't look really good in anime, but that was pretty good. Graham Spector? A household name. So, Graham Spector is a family. Kind of like how the Martillo family and all that. Getting introduced to a new character right now. True. Is this the same voice actor from Welcome to the NHK who plays Sato? Or no. I don't know, it sounds a little like him. It it is Sato. It is Sato's voice. I can't remember the voice actor's name, but dang. I'm I'm already liking this new character now. Someone threw you off the goddamn train! You can't tell me there's someone in the world who can do that! Who would dare do that 
to you! Someone who can hurt you like that, Boss Lad! 1929? Lad! Here we go. Cheap crap and sold on the black market. Zacharias, one of my regulars, noticed it and told me. So, you want me to make them pay for it, right? No, not yet. He saved our ass on this for the time being. Zacharias. This is when Lad was working with him at the time before he, you know. You mean you're gonna let me handle it? Look how excited he is. Look at that troll face. That's a troll face right there. <laughs> but Uncle, to me that means the same thing as why don't you go there and kill everyone you want to your heart's content? So are you sure about that? Oh, Uncle? I haven't said anything except for you to go have a little word with them. <laughs> <laughs> Basically saying, go kill him. <laughs> really? Crazy bastard. What was that? Mm. I said to get the hell out of here. Oh. See that? Yep, going to kill them all. You're going to end up just like No, no wait just a second. I'll try to listen to your story before I finally put you to bed, but I ain't going to wait all night for it. So get to talking quick. Uh, I ain't got nothing to say about it. Right, right, right. You're saying you did it for no reason? Oh, man. You're telling me you made tools of the Russo family just for fun? Nothing back door, huh? No one behind the scenes. Are you implying that my lad Russo Ooh. was a fool to a Got him by the truth? freaking shoulder. For a trap, technically. Right here, right this, right there. <laughs> Lad's not gonna believe that one bit. He's gonna blow you to smithereens. Yep. Oh. Oh, missed on purpose. The animation is getting really weird right now. Ooh. Oh, that guy. Do you want to know my name? I guess that means you're concerned about me. <laughs> Put that aside for the moment. You hurt me quite a bit. And Ooh. you wound the heart of someone to whom you show your concern. It means that you don't even have the slightest understanding of love. I mean, look, I was supposed to dismantle this vehicle. Yet you've gone and destroyed the car in a most brutal and unsightly fashion. <laughs> no! No, no, no! You can't make me accept this! But, while I may accept it, it is true. It is something that I can't tolerate. Okay, so there's Vino, this guy, and Lad, who are the most psycho people out of Bacchanal right now. <laughs> Dang. What? Okay. This isn't some immortal power. This is like superhuman stuff going on right now. This is like Shizuo type stuff going on right here. What the heck? <laughs> what? Oh, oh! Dang! Ricochet the ball back at you! Oh, going in. Oh, what? What? 
what, what, what happened? Oh, Lad got stabbed. Or... Oh. It's impossible. Did you really think you could do anything you wanted to me with this little toy? Even if you could do something, you could do it against me. You filthy little punk. Ooh. Ooh. Hit him hard right there. Definitely, def, definitely, <laughs> Bakano and Durarara are now confirmed to be in the same universe. I like, I am getting serious Izaya and Shizuo vibes right now. Like no joke. Lat, well, <laughs> it's hard compare. Lat comparing to Sh Izaya is another story, but obviously you know who I'm talking about, who is referred to as. She's woke. There's nobody else in the world who can kill him but me. Dang. Look at look at him. It's all beat up. Look at that. Oh, that's right. Oh. Oh, oh that's right. I forgot him. And they're both laughing. These guys are psychos. These guys, this, this. What the heck is this guy doing? Jeez, <laughs> 1931 now. Miser staring at Chesla. You shall all be well, Miser. I'm oh, sorry. I'm afraid I'll have to catch up with you a little bit later. Who that? Have I seen him before? No, this has to be a new character. <gasps> Yo, it's Chinese father. Oh, so he knows Chane's father as well. What trick could you pull to get in here? Oh, simple, really. It's smiles and smiles. All I had to do was make that... Smiles and smiles. Money. Yeah, money. Money talks. It's sad, but... What if you live for 200 years and you get a little wiser? Learn that it takes more than this to spoil mankind. A lot of shady stuff goes on with money. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> That sounded a little bit weird. <laughs> I just want to see you smile. I only came to hear to see you smile. Oh, you had to force your smile, didn't you? Give us a smile, Gilly. Yeah, that's it. That's the face I wanted to see, old chap. <laughs> you astound me. Imagine you coming here just for that. Oh, you know me. I'll do anything for a smile. <laughs> There's someone I'd like you to meet. My daughter. Chana. Oh, yeah? Will you be able to make her smile? Will you still be able to smile once you've met her? I'm very curious to know that. 
Yeah, that you know, we haven't really gotten much on Ch Chane's history. 1922 now. Just to form as your shield? I will share with you a piece of the knowledge that only I possess. Huh. Before I talk. I am telling you that you will only be allowed to listen to and memorize it. You must never tell anyone this knowledge. And you must never use it for yourself. Do you think you can promise me that? She had longer hair at the time. And she and she could talk. So did her father take away her voice somehow or whatever? There's the birds foreshadowing. The white birds, then there's that one black bird in the flock of the white birds. Of course, sometimes experiments have a way of going unexpectedly. Your voice. Please take away my words. Take my voice from me. She wanted her voice to get taken away? Why? I'm saving what I have to talk for at the end of the review. That's why I'm being so quiet, because I'm just... I'm trying to keep all this information I'm getting in right now. So questionable on some of the things, but... Huvi Huvi Laforte. La for it, la for it. There he goes! Whoa, what is he doing now? He is destroying the car. Dual wielding wrenches? This guy is a lunatic. They're just looking at him like, what is going on with you, man? <laughs> Why? <laughs> now you fixing the car? There's a screwdriver. Is he putting? He's putting the car back together. Or. Damn! 
Before they get ahead of us, we have to start dismantling houses. Now, I want you to carry out their safes, bring them back here, and then start taking them apart, 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 apart. What the heck? Wound up again, transcendentally, hopelessly wound up. I don't think it's burglary, boss. Word is they're tight with the Genoa family, and they're hiding out in one of their penthouses. Genoa? Oh, I know them. They were the ones last year who had their boss and his son killed out by the dam or the river or something, right? Yeah. Right now, their other son, Dallas, has come up missing. And their daughter, mm -hmm. Eve, looks like she inherited the whole freaking estate. I getcha. What you're saying is... So they're going to go after Eve now, aren't they? They're threatening her or something like that. This is amazing. Perhaps ingenious, isn't it? Sorry, I just wanted to use the word ingenious right then. How about this? If we can join up with these guys and then take over their turf... Some of that sweet can flow to us. Ooh. Yes, 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 no, no, no. What sort of a weak minded plan is that? Solar plexed right there. Right, right in the solar plex, right there, right there. What is your answer? That wrench is going to come down right on his face. Case, yep. I get to break you. Ah! <clears throat> that just snapped the neck. He did. Thank you for that comprehensive report. Because of Who is the guy behind these books? Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, Rachel, about that boy. Chesla. Stop by the honey shop at the entrance to Little Italy. I think you'll find the answers that you're looking for there. And you are under no obligation to report anything about it. I appreciate it, sir. Hmm. Oh, there's Chesla and Ennis right there. And this is playing mommy. Is there something wrong, miss? Aren't you supposed to be dead? What are you talking about? Hey, Miss Ennis, I hope you don't mind if I go talk to this lady for a second. From what, from what she saw when, you know, basically, Cheslaw's body was underneath the train. Was it when my head was shot off? Or maybe when he was dragging me along the train track? My name's Benjamin. Nice to meet you. My name is Rachel. Well, Rachel, I must say Benjamin, I his false name. Too. So why did you come here? Well, I... The president of the Daily Date sent me. Oh, the information brokers. Well, I guess I'll tell you the truth since you find out anyway. No use in lying. My name is actually Cheslaw Mayer. You can call me Ches. So what's the truth? I can tell by your reaction that you don't know anything. I wonder where I should begin. I guess I should start with what it means to be an immortal, huh? I'll tell you everything. What it means to be an immortal? I was just kidding with you, pal. There's no reason for you to pass oh. like that. Oh! Ah, this guy's a lunatic. He saved him. <laughs> he didn't even kill him. Jacuzzi. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. And to start, we kidnap this girl Eve, kidnapping a little girl. Yep, I knew they were going after Eve. I knew it. Still, you 
you guys all know I prefer older women. Okay, we'll use Eva's bait to draw out Jacuzzi, and then we got him. We can also get some ransom money. You see, it's a ransom money from Eve. Just like I said, where's the sad part in it, boss? <laughs> We're gonna be the happy ones, see? And they're gonna be feeling so sad. Oh man. All right, stuff is getting pretty good right now. All right. Let's head into the review of Bakano episode 14. Okay, so this was a pretty decent episode. We got introduced to a new character named the Graham Spectre. He is a mechanic. How I personally feel about him as a character, I actually kind of like his character. He is loony and very chaotic, just like Lad Russo, and he's also voiced by... I'm pretty sure he is voiced by the same voice actor who played as Sato in Welcome to the NHK. If you haven't watched Welcome to the NHK, I'm not going to say anything about the anime. Just go watch it and you'll find out about yourself how amazing of an anime that is but um anyway so if we go back to the events in 1932 which was the beginning of this episode um you know we see the Grand Inspector and he was very and he was very outraged by the fact uh that uh Lad Russo was seriously injured and he's like how could someone do that I'm supposed to you know do that um so if we go back to the events on the flying pussyfoot, we know that Vino really seriously injured Vlad, or Vlad, I keep on saying Vlad, I'm so sorry, I don't know, it's like I'm, it, when, I, when I think of Vlad, I'm thinking of Vlad the Impaler, just how chaotic they are, but anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that is the reason for probably, you know, why he was outraged at the fact of uh, Lad getting seriously injured uh, due to Vino, so if Vino might make an appearance in either the next episode or episode 16, and maybe uh, they're going to fight or something, because, you know, uh, it, it's kind of like a rivalry within this anime, you know, so the, like, Durarada focuses on the love aspect of things, not in the romantic sense, but, like, how twisted love can be, and then when it comes to Bakuno, it really shows you the twisted side of humanity and how dark it can be. Then we go back to the events in 1929 when Lad Russo and the mechanic met for the first time. And I gotta say, this Grand Spectre character reminds me a lot about Shizuo in a way. And if you have watched Dude da da you will get exactly what I'm talking about. The Grand Spectre, you know, he has superhuman strength just like Shizuo. He is waving around a wrench and just, you know, tearing everything to shreds. There was that one episode, or not this one episode, the end of the episode, excuse me, where he took down a, an entire car, you know, just by using, you know, his wrench, just waving it in the air and whatnot. And then it looks like he was putting it back together, but I don't know if he was making something else or whatnot. I don't know. But yeah, it just shows you how strong this guy is and how he has superhuman strength. So it kind of makes me wonder, you know, if there is immortality in the Bakano universe, is there superhuman strength connected to the Bakano universe as well? And if the Bakano universe is is connected with the Dorada universe, this will explain how Shizuo got his power, because, I don't know, maybe this guy is somehow related to Shizuo in a way, <laughs> but yeah, now I'm just over-analyzing everything, I know, I know, but uh, anyway, let's get back to the fight, so, Lad Russo and uh, the Grand Spectre fight, and, you know, they are very chaotic and very hectic, and, you know, just, they're, they're psychos, that's plain and simple, you know, and Lad Russo, obviously won that fight and before he even finished off or decided to finish off the Grand Inspector he shot that one guy who he was going to spare and then they're, ju they're just laughing about it they're just laughing about it so if we go back to the events in 1932 when obviously Grand Inspector was outraged by someone you know really seriously hurting Lad Russo it looks like you know Lad Russo spared his life and you know for the sake of just being alike of one another and <laughs> it just shows you that maybe Lad made a friend. Psychos don't make friends though. And by the end of the episode, we also see that the Grand Inspector needs money in order to do this. He is going to try to go after Jacuzzi and collect his bounty. But before he can do this, he needs to capture Eve. So things aren't looking good for Eve as well. So yeah. And we also get a little bit more backstory on Chane, and it doesn't really seem like she had the best childhood, really, especially with her dad. Um, her dad kind of just, you know, was like, you serve me, and you are only born to protect me. And this is why Chane, you know, doesn't smile at all, and it explains how she wanted to get rid of her voice in a way, you know, just because of the fact her father is very dispassionate. Uh, dis dis passionate about uh her being alive or not not really giving her a you know a child 
could that sh uh, you know a normal kid would have you know you it's just you know you serve me only for me that is the only reason that you are alive and it looks like her father now um is is kind of understanding uh, you know what he did in the past um you know little is known about her father still it's like i'm kind of shaky on basically what, what kind of relationship they still had to one another but you know from what the father told that other guy i guess i I think I seen him before, but I just can't remember his name. But apparently, uh, he is going to go after Chane in the next episode or two, and you know he's going to try to basically lighten up the mood for Chane and make her smile. And then also, there's the, also the fact, you know, will Chane and Vino even meet, and are they gonna get married or whatever for whatever reason that Vino, you know, wants Chane? I mean, we could say that Vino just wants to marry Chane just for the sake of you know letting her decide once throughout her life because she never got that chance and she also you know was just brought up on a life to serve her father and that's all she's ever known but you know even if Vino goes ahead and marries her even though he said that he will protect her you know he is also going to have to serve under her father so this in a way wouldn't exactly give Chane freedom because technically the two are just going to serve under her father like she always has been doing although maybe if she has someone maybe you know it just makes her life a little bit that much better i don't know but you know as far as why vino is going to marry chane i'm still kind of shaky on that although i did hear what you guys said down in the comments down below you know even though vino uh you know is an assassin he's a hired assassin is the thing he, he doesn't kill uh for pleasure well i mean his victims he kills for pleasure so this guy has a little aspd but you know uh vino doesn't really kill innocents. He he only goes after people he is hired to kill. It's, he just has a warped sense of justice from what I heard from you guys. So even though he is slightly la like Lad Russo, he is not really because he won't kill innocents. Lad Russo will just basically kill anyone who stands in his way. So I, I guess that is why he will marry Chane because Chane and him technically, you know, Chane did nothing to him, so he has no problem with marrying her, but whatever, I guess love at first sight, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below basically what your interpretations of, you know, the relationship between Chane and Vino goes, because I am still shaky on the whole relationship between the two, it, it just doesn't really, it's not, it hasn't been that clear for me, but maybe I missed something, maybe that's the reason why, let me know in the comments down below what, you know, their real relationship is, and, you know, like, I, I just need clarification because it's it's confusing for me basically what i'm trying to say is that their relationship doesn't really seem that believable i mean one minute they meet and then it's all of a sudden hey you want to marry me and of course we also get some little screen time with Cheslaw and rachel and it looks like Cheslaw is going to basically explain the events on what really happened on the flying pussyfoot and what it means to be immortal but we'll see if episode 15 or 16 will explain that because you know Bakano could throw you for a little loop-de-loop -loop and not go in the direction that you are expecting. But yeah, that about does it for my live reaction to Bakano episode 14. Only two more episodes to go. Really hope you enjoyed the live reaction. If you like this video, please give a like and let me know in the comments down below on what else you would like to see on this channel other than live reactions. And also, is there anything in particular that you would like to see for my 300 subscribers special? Because we are technically almost at 300 subscribers and I really can't thank you guys enough for that. It's just awesome the continuous support I'm getting the feedbacks I'm getting um, Interacting with you guys and you know I want to interact with you guys as much as I possibly can so if there is You know something specific that you would really like to see on this channel Let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to make it and if you want to stay up to date to my future content on this channel Please hit the red subscribe button below and you will never miss a video from me that about does it for the video guys I will catch you in the next one catch you guys next time